Well, it's not a very well-kept secret that one of the most dangerous places to be when you are sick is a hospital or a doctor's office. Infectious diseases are caused by types of bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi that are found around us. Obviously, hospitals which are treating infectious diseases are a hotbed for contamination. With infectious diseases becoming more resistant, hospitals are actually a breeding ground for superbugs. The hospital provides a temporary home for germs until they are eradicated by modern medicine. Hospitals and doctor's offices are pooling places for sick people and all the germs that they carry. Just walking into one of these areas puts you at risk. Germs are everywhere and on all surfaces. Research shows that nearly three quarters of patients' rooms are contaminated with C. diff, MRSA, and VRE. Once patients and caregivers touch these surfaces, their hands become vectors for disease. According to OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, healthcare workers suffer more injuries and illnesses than many occupations. For every 100 full-time hospital employees, there were reported 33 cases of injury and illness. Healthcare jobs often involve potential contact and exposure to airborne and bloodborne infectious disease, including Sharps injuries. Infectious diseases are transmitted from person to person by direct or indirect contact. Certain types of viruses, bacteria, parasites, and fungi can all cause infectious disease. Let's take a moment and think about high tech and contamination. How many people use this keyboard? Does everyone that utilizes Equipment such as this keyboard practice washing their hands and effective safety precautions for not spreading infectious disease. Can the general public come in contact with supplies and equipment? All healthcare workers must understand the safety environment in which they work. Take a moment to study this image. This is a CT room. What I'd like you to do is take a look at all of the things that are in the room and at the operator's console that are touched routinely. Of those items that you identified, how many of those could actually be contaminated? How often does housekeeping or the staff clean the area? Just as I thought, these questions leave a lot to be answered. Ask yourself another question. Who gets touched and how often and by whom? Do your co-workers wash their hands after each contact with a patient? How about wearing of gloves? Is it possible you're being exposed and don't know it? As a healthcare worker, you can be exposed to sources of infection in three ways. First, you can come into contact with the infected person's blood or body fluids. You can also come into contact with infectious materials. The second form is droplets, such as cough or sneeze. Finally, we become infected through pathogens that are spread through the air. How many healthcare workers routinely disinfect and clean their phone? It's interesting because we know that a cell phone has 18 more times bacteria than we can usually find in a public restroom. After looking at cell phones, let's take a look at the picture to the left. Cell phones are only one source of contamination. How about the tablets we use routinely and all the other equipment? How about our stethoscope? And finally, what about that lab coat that you wear? Obviously, we are constantly in contact with many sources of contamination that we don't even think about. Did you ever think that you should wash your hands prior to putting on your gloves? and change your gloves after each contact. Hospital wear contains nasty bacteria. And when you think about it, we wear our hospital gowns or our hospital scrubs almost everywhere as just part of our clothing. More than 60% of health workers' uniforms sampled by researchers tested positive for pathogens, including the germs that can cause pneumonia, bloodstream infections, 
drug-resistant infections, MRSA, and C. diff. The Journal of Hospital Infection revealed that 9 to 25 percent of mobile phones, pagers, and personal data assistants were contaminated with nasty bacteria like MRSA that could cause human disease. It also demonstrated that the users rarely, if ever, cleaned or disinfected these items. As we can see here, you can go to extreme measures to make sure that you and the patients are not being exposed. But one of the biggest things you can do is simply wash your hands. That will save about 50% of the contamination. Finally, be aware of your surroundings or your environment and take precautions to stop spread of infectious disease. We're all aware that the hospital or doctor's office would fall apart unless we were there, but it makes sense not to spread disease. So when you're sick, stay home. Don't be a hero. Trying to work when you're ill not only causes you problems, but it is also unsafe for the healthcare workers that work with you and the patients that you serve.